Amazon's food stores won't disrupt the grocery business and may not even succeed. The unconfirmed reports that Amazon is planning to build 2,000 food stores within 10 years here in the U.S., beginning with a pilot program of 20 stores by the end of 2018, has the grocery industry in a tizzy. The stores will reportedly be under the Amazon Fresh banner and will be tested in two formats, a more traditional store with shelves and shopping carts and one which is click and collect, where you order beforehand or in store on a kiosk and just pick up. Business Insider reports the plan based on documents that they obtained includes the pickup locations would be 10,000 square foot and the more traditional format would be 30,000 square foot. The plan reportedly includes using cutting edge technology like AR to read a customer's license plate as they enter the area to speed up their curbside delivery. Now, I'm not sure that if Amazon does follow this plan that it will be as disruptive and game-changing as many predict. I see it, frankly, as a bit more iffy. I'm afraid that Amazon may well be looking at the past iterations of grocery shopping with a few technology whiz-bangs rather than looking to the future as they try to fill in a niche between two already successful formats that are on the cutting edge that are taking the lead with food, not convenience or technology. Millennials and Generation Z take technology for granted. They're leading the food trends, and they are in everything from sustainability, traceability, social responsibility, as well as unique and different culinary creations. They want a total food experience and are demanding that from retailers. For them, technology is just a tool to achieve that, not the reason for being. First of all, convenience stores have evolved greatly, and one of their keys to success is their food service offerings. The other missing piece is the in-store dining or grocerant, which is one of the biggest trends in grocery, which according to the 2016 Technomic Report, are topping 9% and expected to sustain a similar pace of growth over the next 10 years. Then there's the elephant in the room, Aldi and Lidl. European retailers with that smaller footprint that carefully curate their private brands to offer high quality, low prices and bare bones store environments. So what opportunity does this leave Amazon? Certainly the reports that their stores will be available only to those who have paid the additional fees for Amazon Prime and Amazon Fresh will be a turnoff to millennials unless they take a significant turn and drastically reduce their food and beverage pricing, which as an Amazon Fresh user I can share are not lower than I can find at a nearby supermarket. Amazon may well have an uphill battle unless these plans are mistaken or they make some changes pretty darn quick.